Artificial intelligence and machine learning have rapidly become the buzziest of buzzwords. But the reality is predictive analytics will have a profound impact on business technology in 2018 and beyond. For Tech Republic and ZDNet, I'm Dan Patterson with Mikhail Namov. He is the founder, co-founder of Digital Genius, a company that blends human intelligence with artificial intelligence. Mikhail, thank you very much for joining us today. Uh, before we talk a little bit about 2018 and beyond, uh, I wonder if you could tell me what, what your platform does and how you amalgamate both humans and uh, robots. Yeah, so uh, Digital Genius essentially is a layer of intelligence that's integrated on top of existing customer service platforms. And what it does is it trains uh, a deep learning algorithm based on all the historical customer service data, like email transcripts and chat logs, converts them to word vectors, and trains these predictive models. And what it does is it reinforces the existing human agents that are working in these contact centers by automating lots of the repetitive parts of the process that they have to do every day. And that's what Digital Genius does. We blend the best of human and machine intelligence to provide better customer service experiences for people. So you work with uh, large companies like Unilever, B&W, and others. I wonder if you could tell me how these companies are integrating AI machine learning and what other business can learn from their experience. So there's no doubt about it. Great customer service teams are demanding AI right now. And the reason for that is because today AI has become better at humans at the things we humans hate to do. Uh, the repetitive tasks, for example, in contact centers like tagging and classifying and routing and searching for repetitive answers usually take a human agent anywhere from 40 to 60 percent of their time. That's time that can be unlocked to actually focus on helping the customer and providing a more genuine customer service experience rather than wasting that time on these repetitive process that we don't enjoy doing anyway. And so companies like Unilever and KLM and many others have now embraced this technology and what they're doing is they're first and foremost providing it to their teams as a tool rather than let's say a replacement. And there's this, a big conversation going on uh, around the, the, the hype and a little bit of fear of AI being transformed into more of how AI is really empowering folks that are working in the trenches to provide better experiences for people. What are some of the challenges and problems or at least speed bumps that large companies run into when integrating AI, machine learning, and predictive analytics? Sure. So, well, the, when you're integrating AI in your contact center, the first thing you really have to think about is what is the right optimal combination of human and machine? So are there some types of customer service queries that can be completely handled by a machine? Are there others that will forever and always be handled only by a human? And then what is that Goldilocks zone of conversations that can be handled through a combination of machines and humans working together to provide faster, more effective, more consistent responses? So that's, I would say, a uh, question number one that a company should ask itself. For you as a company, what is the best optimal blend of human and AI? The second one is really about how do you make AI and how does AI make customer service a more rewarding career for your employees? And so you give them a tool that makes them be better at what they do and positioning it that way and making sure it delivers the value so that it becomes a conduit to a career growth is really important for companies to consider. Uh, because this is, a, you know, this is a new technology and as with any new technology, you need to get adoption and buy-in from the team that's using it. And finally, I think the most important piece is how do you actually reap the benefits of AI without having to invest in expensive data scientists and machine learning teams? And the best way to do that really is to work with a partner or a platform provider that has dedicated their company towards specifically making deep learning available off the shelf for the contact center. Now, when we look at 2018, uh, there, there can often be a backlash to hype. Uh, on the other hand, these are real technologies that, like you described, can make big business, enterprise companies operate more efficiently. So what is your advice for companies embracing and adopting machine learning in 2018? Is there reason for caution or are we full steam ahead? 
I think companies and people in general have to realize that implementing machine learning and AI is not an overnight magic trick. It's, in fact, it's, it's pure mathematics in some sense. And what you have to think about is a journey that you as a company have to go on when embracing these new technologies. And you know, that journey doesn't happen overnight. So a lot of the hype is focused around you know, replacing contact centers with AI and you know, automating all the questions in the world. The reality is that's never, you know, that's never gonna be the case. We will get to a place soon where AI is very effective at uh, dealing with and responding with easier questions that don't necessarily require a human level intellect. And what that does is it helps the human team members unlock time to actually use their human level intelligence and do the tasks that they actually want to do to progress their career and to enjoy what they're doing. So I think in terms of the hype, I think we're gonna see you know, a little bit more of it before it kind of tapers out. But ultimately companies need to understand that this technology is not going anywhere. It's here today. So it's important to figure out how do you put the machine to work today in your contact center?